Partia travels with the Sultan's army to Verin Castle. It is outside these familiar walls that he now thinks of home, well, his new home. As surprised as he was with his election to rule Garantor and the land surrounding it, Partia is now wary of what his new home has earned him. Gazing upon a castle his people died for already, Partia now ponders if this fate will befall his new lands. He is no longer a merchant. Partia al it is now a landed lord of the Asarai. The currency of his new status is not gold, but blood. Partia looks around at the small force he has brought with him and realizes he will need to raise an army anew if he wishes to keep what little power he has gained. A governor, walls, and garrison are now added to his mind's ledger. New troops will need to be raised and trained and improvements constructed. The lesson of Varen Castle is that lands will remain the same, but a banner can quickly be replaced. Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcoming you back to another chapter in the adventures of Partia al Eat in Bannerlord. Indeed, as Partia sits atop this hillside just outside Varen Castle, a lot is going through his mind. The newly acquired lands that he is in charge of is more than just land to him. It is the people that live upon that land as well. Remember Partia's past, remember how war tore his family apart. Partia does not want that fate for those under his protection. And so, with that in mind, he needs to ensure that what has happened to Varen Castle, the fact that it's fallen once again to the enemy, cannot happen to Garantor Castle. After assisting his Sultan in this assault in taking this castle back, he will part ways with the Sultan, head back down south, and make preparations. He must better equip himself, he must better equip his companions, and he must better train and equip his troops. He has a pitiful army, he has a pitiful garrison, and this must change. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be an intense session as we are still in the midst of this war and Partia has a lot to take care of and I'm super excited to take care of it all. Honestly, getting the castle that early was wildly unexpected and it's going to lead to some interesting situations, I think. Uh, we really have to get into the mind of Partia now. How does he feel? There, this is a lot of responsibility weighing down on him. Uh, he's, of course, still that same man deep down inside, caring about being a good person, being a good leader, uh, you know, his trade, his charm. Uh, but at the same time, he's been drawn very directly into war. Uh, maybe this life that he's always wanted is a little less glamorous than he had pictured or than, ha than he had been told, you know, based on the stories. But uh, nonetheless, it is a life he now leads and it is one he must embrace. Again, I'm hoping to uh, take care of Varen Castle, and there's a lot of work to do uh, with regards to the management of our own fiefs and how we want to prepare to defend it from potential aggression. I want to end this war with Garantor Castle still under my control. So let's go ahead and see uh, when the Sultan decides to assault the castle here. We'll help him take it back, and then, like I said, we'll move on down south. Oh man, I'm uh, really excited for this session. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting, and it can go in many, many different ways. Uh, I'm really nervous, actually, with how long we're waiting to assault the castle over here. We've got the battering ram ready. They barely have any defenders. Okay, there we go. Uh, yes, we will march on in, help Umkid's army, uh, and make our way up this tremendously long hillside. Now, it only feels tremendously long, I suppose, because of our really, really poor athleticism. I was thinking of the best way to phrase it, but it's something we'll get to practice. Now, folks, as we practice said athleticism and make our way up this hill, just want to mention really quickly, if you've been enjoying this series and you'd like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel. Your likes and comments let me know uh, who's interested in seeing more of what, and it really does make a difference with regards to what I do here. Uh, apart from that, I also enjoy reading through all the comments, and I do read through all the comments, whether it's feedback, opinion, tips, or uh, just a good story like the one we opened this chapter up with. Feel absolutely free to, to you know, leave your mark in the comments, as it were. I, I do enjoy reading through them. All right, let's make our way up to that, uh, that barricade over there and see if we can't make our mark on this... Uh, battle over here. These guys are really aggressive with their shots. I'm a little worried, actually, about getting this close, but let's see if we can't make it work for us over here. Alright, in a good spot, I think, right here. 
Oh, that's way too, way too high. That's okay, it's okay. There we go. You gotta warm up, right? Some warm up shots. And just as a reminder, folks, the uh, fire arrows, they have absolutely no mechanical effects. They are purely visual. So don't worry about like any, any kind of like, you know, fires being started or anything strange like that. It is a mod and uh, it's a pretty neat looking mod, especially during night battles, which uh, I don't think we've had a chance to experience that, have we? All right, where is our battering ram? Oh, that was a good hit. Let's try and get another one of those. Ah, he just dodged me. There we go. Looks like our other archers are getting some work done as well. Beautiful Batanian hero down. Try and take another one, shall we? Oh, dear. Getting focused down on now. It's a little concerning. Did not time that properly. Come on now. There we go. Nice, got another one. Oof. Oh, dear. Just got me in the... In the clipped my arm there. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> well, the battering ram is here, so that's good. That should uh, change the story of the battle a little bit. Trying to help our... Uh, there we go. Friends out over here. A shot up there, and another one perhaps. Ah, four more shots left. Gotta make them count. Gotta make them count. There's one, and another one. Try and get that hero as well. Why not? There we go, and one last shot. Okay, that's that. The ladders are up. The ram is up. Let's go, men. Let's go. Oh, look at that man diving into melee. Diving to his death. More like up the ladders. Let's go. Let's go. For the Sultan. For the Asarai. For our people. And for the land that is rightfully ours. Stolen from us once again. All right, here we go. There we go. There we go. Down you go. Excellent. Beautiful. Try and get this guy as well. Down with you, you dog. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Let's move. Let's move. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any arrows. We're just going to have to charge these guys from behind. Gate's about to drop. And we'll come swinging in from behind as well. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, man. I feel so very slow. Just that. I can feel the pain in my, uh, in my chest. <laughs> Men, don't just die here. Aim for their heads. Oh. All right. Gates are down. There we go, getting some work done. Getting some work done for sure here. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at those kills coming through. Oh dear, let's not die ourselves now. Who's, who's left? What's left? The gates are ours. One final charge. We can hear the horn blow. Glory for us. Beautiful. Oh, that was quite nice. That was quite good. <laughs> I'm very satisfied with that. 3.6 renown, 3.4 influence. Wonderful, wonderful. We lost three. An Imperial Legionary, an Asurai Youth. He will be mourned. And an Asurai Mamluk, of course. We always do, don't we? 11 kills on my part. Pretty happy with that. Good stuff. All right. That was solid. Oh, man. I was a little nervous after I got hit by so many uh, arrows. Looks like we have got quite a few prisoners as well. Hopefully, they will translate into some good influence for us because I do have some plans for the influence we get. I do have some plans. For one, um, I need to use the influence to push a policy that I would like to see. Uh, but for now, though, let's uh, say farewell to Unkid and the rest of that party. And let's make our way over to Varen Castle over here because I'd like to get rid of these prisoners in the dungeon. Let's just donate the prisoners here. I, I have no intent of hiring any Batanians. Batanians? Batanians? Not yet, at least. I mean, those heroes were performing quite well. Um, but nonetheless, they're, they're my prisoners. Let's go ahead and dump them in here. They're, ooh, that was not bad at all as far as influence is concerned. 32. Uh, okay, so, my plans with regards to the influence. For one, let's just go over Partia's mind right now. Uh, he wants to turn back down south and return to Garantor Castle. Uh, there are some changes to be made with regards to the instructions they were given, so we have to come here and do that. We're also going to pull some of the garrison out so we can take them out training. We're going to continue down further south, uh, recruit some new troops, go to Kuyaz as well to perhaps purchase some new equipment, and then turn back up north and perhaps attack Thraktore Castle here. Now, to do that, obviously, Partia is going to need more than just himself. So we are going to try and raise the banners, try and get an army to join us, or try and get parties to join us to form an army. But I also want to use the influence for this one policy, uh, oh, right, the owner of Baron Castle. 
I'm going to abstain from voting, but I want to see if, rather, that my name is up there. Yeah, it is. Thais gets 100% of the... Honestly, I should... I did a lot of work there. I did a lot of work there, but I, I will abstain from voting, unfortunately. Um, mainly because I don't have enough influence, and Thais will receive it. It's fine. Uh, we're all friends here after all, right? We're all friends here. Anyway, the uh, policy that I wanted to push was... Where is it? Castle Charters. Castles yield one additional influence per day. That would automatically give me one influence every day that passes for as long as I hold on to Garantor Castle. So the sooner I get that, the better. Um, but apart from that, like I said, I want to get an army up and... Oh, hey, hello. Arwa is able to join us for 21 influence. It'll cost... We have what? 30... 32. Why is Tariq's party so... Wow. Interesting. We can actually get Arwa and Ayalis. Hmm. Must be a higher quality group. Okay, so if we call Ayalis and Arwa, right, it'll take two days and 22 hours for Ayalis to get here and four days plus almost five for Arwa to get here, which is ki it kind of works out. It gives us enough time to prepare, do all the things that I needed to do, um, you know, take the, the uh, garrison out training and things like that. What about these guys? Six ranged, seven ranged, two horse archers, one horse archer, three cav, two cav. But a lot more infantry, it seems, indeed. Cheaper. We could go Arwa. Uh, that, that would be 38. Sorry. We got 32. Sure. Arwa and Ayalis. Let's get them both coming in. And, uh, yeah, form our first army. Again, Partia is still in his mind someone who wants to be a leader of men, right? He wants to he wants to be the one flying the prime banner that everyone uh, falls behind. And he might just have the opportunity to do that here. Shall we chase after these looters? 4.8 versus my 4.8. You know what? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. They're just going to pull us further away from our goal. Oh, but 22 looters. That That is worth it. Let's go ahead and chase them down. Give our troops an opportunity to train. Maybe pick up some uh, some loot as well. Primarily gold is what I'm interested in. And let's go ahead and send the troops in for this one. We're outnumbered, but we do overpower them. Uh, we'll take a couple of wounds, but not the end of the world. Some renown, some influence, good stuff. And our Asarai Archer have leveled up. Okay, cool. I do, of course, want to ensure that we do some upgrades. But the upgrades I think I'm going to hold off on just for a little bit until I... Purchase some equipment for myself. All right. Down to the castle. Like I said. Oh. Before these guys get away from me, I want to strike them. Before they get away. Because they were going to get away. <laughs> Let's go ahead and again send the troops in for this one too. Shouldn't be a problem here. There we go. Didn't even take any wounds this time. Beautiful. Wonderfully done. And the Mamluk regular has leveled up. Wonderful. More prisoners. We'll drop them off at Tubulus Castle down south. And look at that, some good food and stuff, some beer. Poor quality, probably. We know good beer, don't we? But yes, over to Garantor Castle, and hang on a second. Did y'all notice what I just noticed? Why is this red? When did this happen? Why was there no warning? Okay, so we're at war with basically the entirety of the north, is that is that it? Like the, the mid-north, I guess? This is not good. At least on the bright side, it means our enemies will be coming from, you know, one-ish direction. Perhaps the Sultan would go, will get peace with uh, the Batanians. We've made enough of a... We've, we've, we've conquered enough there, right? Perhaps we could push for peace. But let's go ahead and pull our garrison out. 20 Asrai recruits, they, they need to be pulled. Sitting here uselessly. Let's get Alkyria up over here by my side. Uh, let's go ahead and pull the tribesmen out as well. Again, we want to train them both up. And I would like some more ranged units, though honestly, if I get ranged units, the melee units won't really get trained, will they? <laughs> no, they will not. No, they will not. Perhaps the Asurai skirmishers, though. Because they, um, they become archers eventually. Alright. Done pulling from here. Um, uh, let's get the Mamluk soldiers as well. Cool. Now I'm done pulling from here. Let's go ahead and manage the castle. So, 
I was previously enamored, I guess, with the idea of building these gardens to help with food. But food is actually looking okay now that we've gone past that state of being under siege and whatnot. So rather than build the gardens over here, I would much rather get the workshops done. The workshops will help us with building more things down the line. Uh, I think it's a much better investment. It'll take a little bit longer, but we're going to go ahead and commission the workshops. And we're going to go purchase equipment. And then when we make money, we're going to put it into the reserve. And that should help us complete the construction a bit more quickly. Uh, and then that'll help us in turn construct other things a bit more quickly as well. Uh, you know, the walls and, and the kilns and things like that maybe help our uh, militia over here. We do want to get a governor as well. And uh, Partia has been contemplating a few things. Uh, remember his dreams of potentially, you know, smithing his own swords and naming them after his achievements. He's wondering if he doesn't get... Uh, uh, a hero known for their smithing skills who might also be good around a castle. You know, it's it's not a bad idea having someone who's uh, good at the work often required at a castle in charge of the castle. Um, and that's partly because, unfortunately, we have no uh, heroes that excel at stewardship in this world. Chase these looters down. Again, I'm not, I mean, as much as I want influence, it's more about kind of like the gold and stuff as well. Let's go ahead. And, and, and it's actually kind of more about the prisoners we get. Because then we can donate the prisoners, and that's where the real influence is at. From four to nine. Like, that's something, right? Uh, but, yes, let's head down to Kuyaz and try and pick up some equipment for us. Now, just a heads up. Oh, Ialis has already arrived? Oh my. These days have gone by quite swiftly. Um, So, ju just to let y'all know, I am in the new patch now. So, what that means is... um the refined goods oh we actually have enough energy do we have enough oh we do okay what do you know just make sure we don't do our um let's make sure we don't do our where does it go mom look lance by mistake i wish you could lock him here as well um let's go ahead and get the southern militia mace gives us two wood as well or maybe the Jagged Spear. Yeah, let's do the Jagged Spear. Okay, now we're too tired. What about um, everybody else? Okay, you can get one out. And Alkyria. Oh, I guess we need more of these. Enough energy to do one? No. Alright, well, well, we'll need to rest here for a little bit. Um, but yeah, with the new update, the value of... Sorry. The value of... The smelted down goods is a little reduced iron for example you can see 84 oof raw iron is 42 we'll we'll, we'll see we'll, we'll do a day's worth of rest and then we'll do some uh, some work over here and hopefully we'll make uh, enough money to you know do something with but for now yes let's wait here for some time let's give it a day i suppose a day of rest do some smithing some smelting uh sell what we get out of that and then make our way back up north or do some do some training again right um let's go ahead and enter the smithy start with refining just refine all that wood down to charcoal and now all right so southern militia mace that should make us some good money actually given the resources we're getting out of it there we go got to get some more charcoal let's get the jagged spear next or perhaps the small spurred axe Nah, the Jagged Spear is better. Wow, he's still tired? I guess they didn't fully recover. I don't really want to wait too much longer, though, is the thing. All right, let's be careful here. Let's refine one. And the Norse Hatchet, perhaps? Or no, the Ridged Iron Broadsword. I think we can get rid of that. Do it. Yep. Enough energy, perhaps? No, I think I'm pretty sure we're out. Yeah, we're out. Okay, cool. Not a problem. Let's see what we can get out of what we have. So the iron, the wrought iron, and the crude iron will make us 2,097. Wow, that is really low. That is, that is really small. <laughs> and, and those prices were in the reds, right? So it's, a, it's high value over here. Nonetheless, no matter, no matter. We've got uh, some armor we can get rid of as well. And actually, I believe... Alkyria here has pretty poor armor on her hands right now, so let's get her some nicer gloves. It'll help her with the archery we're planning on uh, having her do. And is there anything else here that we could use? Not quite. 
So I guess we get rid of all this. She has some really nice boots, actually. We all have some pretty good boots. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of everything here. All that stays. 2909. Fair enough. What about weapons? Do we want to get rid of some of these? Just to make a little bit of extra money right now rather than having to wait? Sure. Well, I mean, we'll get... We'll get more loot later. Imperial Axe. Not worth it. Not worth it. Let's get rid of the hatchets as well. And we could keep everything else. Let's lock that Mamluk Lance just in case it ever, you know, we ever make a mistake. Uh, let's get rid of the Imperial Spear, Military Fork. Just a pitchfork. <laughs> and let's get rid of all the pitchforks as well. Why not? Sure, 47, 42. That's not bad. Uh, I will call that done first. And then let's take a look at what we want to purchase. But before we do that, let's take a look at what we're good with, right? So Partia, that's us. I'm, as a player, comfortable going one-handed. I like sword and board, even though I'm pretty rusty with it, if I'm completely honest. Um, but we're going to stick with that one-handed uh, approach. Now, our stewardship has leveled up enough so that we can pick a perk. I'm going to go with prominence. I feel like that makes sense, considering what's just happened in our recent past. We just went from being... Um, we just went from being a relative nobody to being a landed noble, which I would say is, an, is a quick rise to prominence. People would certainly have noted that, so I'm going to go ahead with that. And uh, apparently I should also get plus one influence as a vassal, which is what I am right now. Um, so I don't know if that's per day or what it is, but or maybe it's just a perk that's not working. Uh, but we also have a focus point that I can dedicate somewhere, and I do think it makes sense to drop that focus point for stewardship, actually. Uh, we just got landed. It kind of makes sense that Partia would be thinking about, you know, trying to learn as much as he can about the art of being a steward. So that is our skill upgrade done. Cool. Now, Valdim here, he's actually quite capable with two-handed weapons. I've got him using one-handed weapons right now, but he's much better off with two-handed weapons. And you can see it gives him a pretty hefty bump to his damage output and his weapon speed as well. And plus on top of that, I mean, he's got all this, uh, you know, like all the perks and stuff as well. So I figure we should probably give him a two-handed weapon. Uh, he's decent at riding as well. We might be able to give him a better horse, actually. And Alkyria here, she is pretty flat as far as her weapon skills are concerned. That we're going to get her one-handed, we're going to get her a bow, potentially, and uh, we're going to try and keep her in a safe distance, right? So that's the overall plan with regards to the equipment we're going to get. I just want to make sure that my character has been upgraded. Yes, okay. Didn't ask me to confirm, so I just wanted to make sure. Now, over to the trades Let's go ahead and pick some equipment out. So we've got 8,500. And if we can... Oh, hey, Pack Camel. Oh, man, it'd be really nice to have one, wouldn't it? Kind of really want one. They're not that great, apparently. Jeez. Uh, but anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted. I think what I'll do is I'll take a quick peek and see exactly what's available to us so that you don't have to watch me shop. So I'm going to do a quick edit. Y'all let me know if you'd rather I do or don't edit in the future. Leave a comment. Let me know what you feel. Uh, but I'm going to do a quick edit to see what, um, you know, what we end up with. All right, so some interesting uh, decisions to be made over here. Uh, I hope I've got the, the right of it. We're going to go ahead and get myself a Star Falchion. It's a much longer weapon than the one I'm using right now. And the damage it does is significantly higher on the swing. No thrusting, unfortunately, but I don't thrust anyway so you know we we don't really care for that i was tempted by the um where'd it go i was tempted by the desert long sword it's a little bit on the pricey side though um and i feel like we need to get everybody some equipment rather than just partia some equipment so let's go ahead and go with the uh, star falchion for now we'll probably get some better equipment down the line uh, apart from that for valdim break skull as much as i would have loved to get him a like giant two-handed mace uh, there's none available. So instead, for now, uh, rather than go with his name, Break Skull, <laughs> and give him that massive skull breaking capability, uh, I guess he's going to be Valdim uh, Cut Neck or something, because we're going to go ahead and get him the Southern Broad Two Handed Axe. Again, he's great with two handed weapons. Uh, the swing damage on this is massive. The Bearded Axe is the other thing that's tempting me, because that swing speed is higher. And I believe it's also got better handling. But the extra damage with the Southern Broad two-handed axe, I think, draws me in a little bit more. 
So we're going to go ahead and give him that. And as you can see, already 5594. But Alkiria needs to get her bow as well. We're going to give her a... Uh, where'd it go? The step bow over here. Not the best of bows, but we need to be a little money conscious as well, right? So let's go ahead and give her the step bow right now. We've got arrows that we can supply her with, so that's good. And uh, it says she doesn't have a saddle, so that's fair. But it also says that Valdim doesn't have a saddle, but I guess it's just a harness. It, uh, you can see the saddle in the picture, though, so I'm not really 100% sure about that. Um... Now, with that expense, we have a little bit of money left over. And with the money that's left over, I kind of want to get myself some armor. There was, let's see, I've got myself the Star Falchion. I've got um, Valdim a weapon. We could get him a better shield as well, though perhaps we could just pick one up at one point. Actually, you know what? There are some pretty cheaply available, decent quality shields. 285. Sure, let's go ahead and give him an actual shield. This is a makeshift kite shield. It's literally in the name. It's kind of sad. Let's give him a proper uh, proper shield, shall we? Uh, we're also going to buy some armor, primarily for myself. Now, with Partia, he's well aware that uh, the armor made by the Asurai isn't the best armor in the world. But currently, he's going through that sense of, you know, pride in his people and so he's probably gonna use a uh, like a southern style uh get up for now but eventually like a true merchant he'll realize that it's not a matter of where the wares come from but how good they are and he'll probably we'll probably have another uh check-in with regards to our armor and whatnot but there was a really nice piece that i wanted which i don't think we can afford the southern helmet with mail is only a slight bit weaker than what we have right now but yeah it's 5700 <laughs> so maybe we save our um, money on armor for now. We'll come back to it later. The other option is uh, we could get something. Uh, I was hoping to save up for the Southern Ring Mail 2857. Um, quite nice. Just a little bit on the pricey side. I wonder if actually if there isn't hmm, something we could sell. Iron Scimitar I kind of want to keep. This is a fond memory. That's going to bite me, isn't it? <laughs> me just doing that over and over again. We can get rid of the Veteran Warrior's Axe. I have no personal emotional attachment to that. Just Valdim, and I'm sure he understands the uh, pragmatic nature of things. So if I do that, then do we have enough to pick up some fancy armor? Let's see. I think body armor more important than a fancier helm right now, or rather, a less effective helm, technically. Southern Ring Mail, 2080... 2857. I don't think we can afford that. Oh, we can't. Just barely. Oh, that looks really good, too. That looks real good. We can actually sell the studded fur armor. Saves us just under 500. Good thing is we're making money, right? We're making money. I could also replace my own shield, but I don't think... Uh... Oh, we could afford one of the cheaper ones. We could afford one of the cheaper ones. The southern round shield, perhaps. Looks good, apart from the fact that it's not centered. That bothers me so much. Uh, it bothers me so much. I guess we can rationalize it by, you know, the sun is in the act of rising, which is why it's not centered. Because, uh, yeah, sure, why not? So the helm is all that's left. This is a lot of money spent, but I've been kitted out. Valdim's been kitted out-ish. Uh, no real armor work for him. And Alkyria's been kitted out as well. For almost all of our money, fair enough. Why not? Let's go ahead and do it let's take it right and let's go ahead and make our way out as well i'm gonna go ahead these upgrades now might be a little too expensive for us so we'll wait a little while before we spend on those upgrades and we might also have a hard time picking up recruits actually recruits we should be fine 285 and again the gold is going to keep ticking as well so let's go ahead sorry not products still got that trader mindset let's go ahead and pick up yeah it costs 80 that's not that much if we get the same thing out of Bach, then that won't be too bad either. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. And as long as we keep making money from our castle. Now granted, I did want to invest a little bit. But that seems like it's going to have to wait. Can we intercept these looters over here? Rank ourselves up? Or perhaps... Nope. Alright. Banab, what do you got for me? Anything fancier? Yeah, I mean, there's the Asurai Skirmishers. And that might be all the recruiting we can do. 
pool. We have five dinars to our name. But again, fortunately, that's not how it actually works because uh, we're going to be making money. Cut these looters off. Nah, no such luck. There you go, 480. It's nice to have money. <laughs> it's nice to have money. Let's head on up to Garantor Castle. Ooh, what's happened here? Kanar of the Jawal of the Batanians has been taken prisoner. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Maybe this is uh, grounds for pushing for peace. Maybe. Maybe. Do we want to actually... Ooh, let's pick up some of these looters over here. Harassing my villagers, harassing my people. They'll pay the price for that. Oh no, I don't like the look of that. I don't like the look of these small armies returning from what should be the front. Let's come back down over here. Help these people out. Help carry this party, yes. We well outnumber what they have, so we'll just send the troops here. Maybe an opportunity to train some of ours. And I imagine he'll be quite grateful for our assistance. It looked like he was dying to a bunch of looters, actually. Yep, you arrived just in the nick of time, Partia. You have my deepest thanks. You have my deepest welcomes. <laughs> Did I, not, did I not plunder any gold there? I think I did. I don't think I did. Alright, I mean, I guess we could make our way towards Ractore Castle, at least just to investigate what's going on over there. See what the situation is. I am a little worried about these armies falling back. What's the situation right now? War with Batania. We outnumber them pretty well. Ah. In some ways, I almost wish they it was a lot more balanced. We've done so much better than them. Let's just call it a war. End the war. End the war, please. Let your men rest. I now understand war exhaustion. Jeez. Like, I always used to think about, like, oh, war exhaustion. That's an interesting mechanic. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Yeah, c civilians get tired of war, blah, blah, blah. But no, even as someone who is, you know, in some ways profit profiting off of it, I want it to end. I'm so happy with what I have. Why can't it just end now? All right, if I must push, though, I will. What does Th Thraktore Castle have? 41 plus 73 is 104. Yeah, I mean, Arya, uh, Arwa, Arya, Arwa's party should be arriving soon, hopefully. Hmm, yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it, why not? Get a little bit of practice in, besiege the castle. Now, of course, the people that, you know, own the castle aren't going to be happy about it, but hey, they'll deal. And let's just keep an eye out for any armies that might be coming to uh, relieve the uh, the pressure. Adram is gathering an army as well. I assume that's what this is. Alright, go ahead and build that siege camp. Let's keep an eye out for enemy reinforcements. I wonder how quickly I want to push in. We only barely outnumber them. And remember, they have walls, they have... Um, they have walls, they have archers, they have towers, they have all that stuff. So when we barely outnumber them, it means that they are stronger than us. Let's just keep that in mind, right? Let's keep that in mind. Skirmisher out of you. Let's get you into a Mamluk soldier. Because they raider. No war horse available for you. Asarai archers. Asarai youth. Mamluk soldier. On horseback. Mamluk cavalry. Beautiful. More heavy cav. God, they're so dope. <laughs> they're just so dope. Alright, we're good. And actually, hold on. Did I? No. Alkaria, you should be a horse archer. Valdim, you should be with cavalry. That ought to do the trick. To a degree. Alright, back to building this siege camp. They've got their defenses up. Our battering ram should hopefully be done soon. Seems as though no response has arrived yet. Our wounded are healing. There's Arwa, she's joining us. Excellent. Now we overwhelm them. Oh, I saw that. 100. Maybe as soon as the battering ram's done, we'll push in. The siege camp just finished. Ram is being worked on now. There's 190 out there. Let's see if they come towards us. Yeah, they're here to help. That makes 213 against R278. How do I feel about that? Comfortable enough? Maybe. Ram is done. We can push in now. We can push in now and uh, try our luck. This will be my first time leading a siege battle. Small, small garrison. Let's go ahead and uh, make sure we're equipped properly. Yep, just wanted to double check. 
Let's lead an assault. Let's do it. I just want to make sure this is complete. Yeah, it is, because we're working on that now. So let's go ahead and lead an assault. I can't believe we're doing this. I, I can't believe we're doing this. Might have been a dangerous call. Might have been a very dangerous call. So the battering ram is over here. That makes sense. You're going to roll up. Which way? Up over here to the gates there. Well, that was a pretty big castle. There's this option as well to come in through here. Hmm. If I cancel you from there, can I... No, these are not spots for the ram. That's the only spot we have. Okay, cool. So it's going to come up over here, beat through that way. Where are our troops? How do we want to roll up? How do we want to roll up? Pretty cool, you can select them. I mean, I guess we just charge up. This is going to be deadly. I'm trying to plan out where I want to move to. There's some cover over here. There's ladders down over here. We could maybe use the ladders instead. We'll follow our men, I suppose. We'll follow our men. Do it. Get off our horse, obviously. All right. Let's see what we can do over here. We do overpower them, but again, right, it's a matter of uh, they have walls, towers, archers up on high. What do we have? A bunch of Asurai youth, some young recruits. How well will they do? I guess we'll find out. How many will we lose? Damn champions of theirs getting work done already. Oh, I'm so slow with the bow. Should have got myself a better bow. Should have got myself a better bow. Come on, I can see you here not firing. Get to work. Get to work. Come on, men. Push. Push. Got infantry going around that side as well, I think. Yeah. If we can't get some shots in. Alright, did a little bit of damage. I think that's more to um the uh, equipment than the person. Looks like they're... Falling back. There we go. Shot in there. Get another one, perhaps. Nice. And another one. Nope. Missed that one. Come on. There we go. Nice. A little bit more. Oh, just dodged me there. It's got all that armor. It's causing me trouble. Pretty soon I won't be able to get past my battering ram. Fair enough. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, looks like they might be pulling back a little bit. Worried about the ram coming too close to them. Our men are taking the walls over there. That's good. Fire over here. Trying to eliminate the... Hey, I totally hit him square there. What? There we go. He's down. Let's try and take care of this guy as well. Good stuff, good stuff. Yes, men are on the walls. It's wonderful. The ram has arrived. Come on, men! Push! This castle will be ours by nightfall. This is pretty cool. This is this is my siege battle. This is my siege assault. Here we go. This gate will fall in no time. We'll push through. We've lost many already. You can see more being dropped right now. Come on now! There we go. Let's go, let's go. Let's break these inner gates as well. Oh, they've opened up for us, it seems. Let's see if I can't get around and behind. There it is. Oh, dear. These shields. These shields, man. All right, come on. Come on, this should be easy pickings. They're like sitting ducks over here. There we go. There we go. Excellent, excellent. Finally getting some work done. Finally getting some work done. Good stuff, good stuff. Come on, drop this fool. Oh, there we go, in through the gates. What took them so long? What took them so long? Wonderfully done, men. 
Onwards, it's not done yet. Alright, let's go ahead and help over here. Oh, down he goes. Excellent. That man running over there like a coward. Chase him down. Couple of them up over there, it seems. Let's see if we can't eliminate them real quick. There we go. Come on now, come on now. Oh. One hit. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Got myself a better angle, perhaps. Oh, our javelin's doing quite well. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Yes! Cut him down! Yes! We've won! Well done, men. I never had any doubt. Of course. Not a moment's hesitation. Wow. 6.6 .6 renown, 5.1 influence. We lost 19 in our own party. Most of them Asurai recruits, some tribesmen, some skirmishers. Mamluk cavalry is gone, and the Kuzate raider as well. That's unfortunate. Quite a few kills in our party too. And a little bit of ranking up too. In fact, uh, I would say we did proportionately quite well compared to the size of our party. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Please let this bring an end to the war. Please let this bring an end to the war. Look at all of those prisoners. Look at all the hurt we took. Go ahead and level some of y'all up. I'm look soldier as well. Let's get you on horseback. Asurai tribesman. Get you to a skirmisher. If we can get some Asurai archers, that would be nice. Small fee. Lots of loot. Imperial open mail coif. That's actually not that great. Wow. <laughs> Relation decrees a little bit more. Yep. The castle has been taken. Wow. That's, um... That's quite wild. Thraktore Castle has fallen to your troops. You may station a garrison here to defend it against enemies who may try to recapture it. Now, there's the hundred out here right now. I wonder if I should pop in to the castle until we can heal up a little bit and uh, and try to defend it. I can't. Wow. That's... I'm... Um, wow. <laughs> Blown away. And we almost have enough influence, actually, to try and get Thraktore Castle for ourselves as well. Or to try and push that uh, policy I was talking about. I have to figure out how I want to take this. 13 cavalry, 83 infantry, 4 ranged. We could crush them. We could crush Bestine's party. We could best Bestine. He's going to get away, obviously. We could rest at the castle here. Heal up a little bit. We've got plenty wounded in our own party. The other parties as well. Pretty badly hurt. That was a hefty battle. And again, to me, this was more to create a, a sort of a buffer. If, if, you know, if they come down now, they have to go through Varen Castle, through Thraktore Castle, and then to Garantor Castle. Garantor, however it's to be said. Let's go ahead and tuck in. And uh, you see the banner of Unkid flying over the castle gates. Beautiful. Let's approach. And I wonder if I go ahead and drop... I'm going to test first. If I go ahead and put, let's say, one of you in. It does help my influence right now. Because it doesn't belong to anybody, so it belongs to the Sultan. Let's go ahead and donate everyone right now. 66. It's tempting, isn't it? To claim yet another... But then it becomes even more responsibility, even more for me to take care of, to worry about. It's all down south over here. At least it's in one area. Let's see if my name's even up for it. It should be. I led the assault. It should be. 33%. Most say Thais should get it. Really? You serious? What did he do? 50-50. Am I willing to take this gamble? Upset a couple people. Looks like the loss is vouching for me. That's good. I think I should get it. I believe I did quite well there. Oh my god, yes. Yes! We have two castles. Not one, but two. Thraktore Castle has been given to Partia from Alit with majority support. Wow. What is going on here? 
what is going on here? Now we have 16 influence left over. Nowhere near enough to do any of the other stuff I wanted to do. But I do wonder, okay, now, now I got to figure out my approach here. Small garrison. I could put more in. It's a very haphazard garrison. The Batanian volunteers are allowed to stay. They are, uh, this is their home, right? I'm not going to rip them away from their homes just because of where they're from. Uh, and let's go ahead and push in our hired blades. I took away the cavalry because it doesn't make sense to have the cavalry in here. Let's get our Mamluk soldiers out as well because they'll be cavalry eventually. And let's put in the Asurai skirmishers, the hired crossbow, and the imperial legionaries. That's a very small party. <laughs> I need to recruit some more troops in here. Urgently. Urgently, but this is a good garrison. 407 we can put here. Wow. 407. Let's go ahead and take a look at this castle. What have we got here? Level 1 walls, level 3 barracks, gardens. Looks like they were in progress. Level 3 workshops. That's quite good. Lime kilns. Very nice. Uh, I say we stick with irrigation here as well. Help our food situation. That could be a problem otherwise. And do we continue work on the gardens? I see no reason not to, really. Extra food production. The walls will take a very long time to produce. Um, so sure. Continue work on the gardens. Got a little bit of money I can push in here. Do I want to is the question. Sure. Let's put in just a little bit of money. 500. There. Touch of money. Okay. Wonderful. Now, it looks like we've leveled up as well, I think. Yes. One-handed. Skill has gone up, so 4% increase weapon speed bonus. Or shield bash causes plus 50% damage. I don't really shield bash all that often. It makes more sense to uh, to get that extra weapon speed. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Alright. Now what is the question? How comfortable do we feel? Let's take a look at the situation, actually, with regards to the war. They have, they're still much weaker than us. We've inflicted more casualties, more successful sieges, more successful raids. Don't know how I feel about that. I just wish we could have peace. I wish we could have peace. Let's go ahead, head back home, recruit some more troops, perhaps. I think we need them. So what, what's the size of the garrison we've left behind? 60. Militia is going to grow on a daily basis. And what's the, the garrison down in Garantor Castle as well, right? Let's take a look at that too. Now, Thraktore... I would love to hold on to, but who knows, right, if we'll be able to. Who knows if we'll be able to. But soon, the taxes from that will be quite good for us. Um, Garantor, you have what? 105. Militia, again, is pretty weak, right? So let's not rely too heavily on militia. Let's not rely too heavily on militia. What's going on here? Workshops. We could invest a little bit over here. Touch of money. Probably should be putting in more if I'm completely honest, but I do want to come down here and raise some more recruits. See if we can't get some better quality recruits, perhaps. A drum is moving north now. Oh, that's a decent sized army as well. As a decent sized army. Let's go ahead and hit these looters over here. A little bit of free training being provided. Why not take it? Come on now, strike them down, and then we can hit up Tubulus for, uh, for some more recruits. And we'll just send the troops in for this one. Unfortunately, we have this massive army, so the amount of uh, leveling up, I don't know how much will happen. Yeah, n none. That's the downside. Got a little bit of gold, though. That's nice. And just a touch of influence. Not nearly enough to make a difference, but, you know, the prisoners we're collecting, you know what we're going to do with them. Oof. I guess Adram has come through and emptied this place out. See, one thing I contemplate is uh, perhaps we should send some of our companions out in a new party to create another army for us. We'd have to pay salaries and stuff, sure, but I wonder if that's not a good idea. Because uh, that way, when it comes time to gather troops, I'll already have access to more that they'll hopefully have you know trained up and stuff, rather than having to do this, what I'm doing right now. 
uh, which is really quite uh, quite a risk if things don't go well, which right now they're not going well. I'm not able to find that many. We should probably actually head up to the castle and heal up. Again, being at a settlement allows you to heal a lot faster. Yeah, we're not going to have any luck over here. Let's check Kuyaz, and then we'll head back up north. Uh, recruit troops? Yeah, nothing. Absolutely nothing. And I think we're too tired for smithing, and now is not the time to spend a day just resting on our laurels. Not down here, at least. Maybe up at uh, at our castle. Oh. The Batanians are attacking Thraktore. All right, let's go ahead and respond. See if we can, at least. Adram is nearby as well, I thought. Let's see what we can do. There's 150 of us. It's not going to be enough to, uh, to overwhelm a decent-sized force. But perhaps we can bring... Nah, everyone's... Everyone's too far away, unfortunately. I was like, I have enough influence maybe to bring someone in, but they're all too far away. Oh, okay. I saw the red and I was like, oh no, is that an army? What's the deal here? I think they were striking at one of my uh, settlements, not the castle itself. Okay, very well. Animals that they are. Fall back. Head to our castle here. And maybe we can strike down these looters. Again, if they if they march through my lands, that means they mean to harass my people. And hopefully they'll head in the right direction, and then I can get back to my castle as well. Resting at my castle again will help with uh, giving some buffs and stuff. When I'm there, uh, I act as like the acting governor, basically. And so any buffs we can get from that, might as well take it, right? A little bit of influence gained there. We're up to 17. It's going to be a long road up to up to 30. Head down to Tubulus and put some prisoners away. Actually, how many prisoners are we carrying? Just one looter? Okay, it's not worth it. That's not worth it. Oh my, okay. The war is done! The war is done! Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> yes! Thank Asara, and of course, thank the Sultan. The war is done. Wow, I didn't see, um, normally a notification, again, early access, right? So probably just a little bug or something, but we made some good gains there. Garantor Castle is ours, Thraktory Castle is ours, Varen Castle is of our kingdom. That's pretty impressive. This should be quite good for us, actually. Now, hopefully, we'll make some decent money over here. We're paying some significant wages. The taxes up at Garantor. No, we're fine. What about the taxes at Thraktore? They're fine too. Garantor and Lysia are paying taxes. Oh, you know what? Thraktore and Gamardan, they just got struck with raids, which is why we're not collecting taxes there yet. Now, with this war done, there is still the war up over here. Have we made progress here already? Who else are they at war with? Let's see. If we go to... Uh, well, first of all, let me check over here. Northern Empire, we are much more powerful than them. That's good. Well, let's not get too cocky, right? That can that can go away in an instant. That can go away in an instant. Um, but I wanted to check the encyclopedia. Hold on. I want to make sure I'm not moving. Yeah, okay. The encyclopedia will tell us the Northern Empire, who are they at war with? They're at war with us, with Batania, with the Southern Empire, with Sturgia, with Valandia. They're war with everybody and some of the smaller, you know, factions. Wow. This shouldn't be a problem then. I wonder if I should disband my army. I wonder if I should disband the army and then run around to uh, collect more influence. Perhaps that's a good idea. But you know what? After all this, after all of this, I think it'd be a nice idea to speak with the Lady Arwa. Oh man. A and you know what, to Aeolus as well. Jeez, we've been through a lot together. Partia, it's been a while, indeed. Uh, us uh, joining forces counts as meeting. A hard day's work taking Thraktore Castle, but worth it. It's so cool, yes, it was, it was a hard day's work, but absolutely worth it. Um, there's something I'd like to discuss. Very well, what do you propose? My lady, I wish to profess myself your most ardent admirer. 
Yes, we are considering offers. These things are not rushed into. Perhaps you and I... We are considering many offers. You may certainly add your name to the list. Medieval flirting. We meet from time to time, as is the custom, to see if we are right for each other. I hope to see you again soon. Well, yes, my lady, you will most certainly be seeing me again soon. But for now, I wish to speak with Aeolus as well. See what he has to say. Is he not here? Buddy, where are you? Is he in the courtyard? He is perhaps in the courtyard. I should go up to Thraktory Castle and, and do a little walk around, shouldn't I? We should check it out. This is... It's still... I'm still so blown away by the fact that we have a castle. Not just one, but two. Where is Aeolus? Alright, fair enough. Let's leave. Let's go ahead and speak to him from, uh, from the generic screen, I suppose. Yeah, it says he's here. He's at the Lord's Hall. How did I miss him? Oh, maybe he was upstairs? Ah, oh, he's down here. Partia, it's been a while. A hard day's work taking Thraktory Castle, but worth it. Indeed. Uh, I have a quick question. I don't think I actually do. Something I'd like to discuss. Uh, actually, never mind. I guess we could just play a game of Sega. Not very good at the little mini games that are in uh, in Bannerlord. No, no, I, I must leave now. Till next time, indeed. Yes. So there's yeah, yeah. They're both here. Very well. Uh, one final march together, perhaps before we disband the army. Uh, let me just take a quick peek over here. Workshops. Do we want to put some more money in? Sure. Why not? Let's go ahead and put in fifteen hundred. It'd be nice to use some of the money to get some equipment as well, of course. But let's let's go ahead and do that. See if that helps any. And yeah, let's head up to Factory Castle. One final march together, this army. And as soon as uh, Thraktore and Gamardan are able to uh, pay taxes, we're going to be very well off. Okay, that's a lot of looters here. Shove off. There we go. Can't have that nonsense blocking my caravans and stuff, bringing food in. Uh, all right, let's take a walk around the castle. This is our new castle. Now, again, y'all let me know in the comments and stuff if you if you don't want to see our castles. But, oh my, look at that. I mean, this was definitely worth doing, I would say. What a sight. What a sight. Oh, that's beautiful. And the perfect time of day to come here as well. The perfect time of day. Look at how the light is just bouncing off those trees. Amazing. Amazing. I, I, I do want to take a little walk around. Again, we've been here before, only moments ago, but it's a little different when you're not being shot at, right? I need to get new uh, civilian clothes, walking around looking like a... looking like a pauper, or whatever the, the term is. Man, this is ours. This is all ours. But yeah, like I was saying, sorry. Y'all let me know in the comments if you're not interested in, you know, experiencing our holdings like this and whatnot. To me... It's, uh, not only is it fun from, like, a, 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 a gameplay perspective to just admire what, you know, what we have ownership over, but it's also a pretty neat, um, from, like, a roleplay perspective. We're not, this is not the life we've ever led. We were merchants, and, like, we weren't poor, but we also weren't, uh, owning castles. We didn't have entire cities under our command. Hey, how are you doing? Your lordship, it's been a while. Well, that's one fewer group of bandits preying on travelers, but there will be more. There always is. Huh? Well, let's leave now. Yes, Captain. Yeah. What do you have to say, Valdem? Your lordship, it's been a while. Bandits. Why are you all speaking about bandits? <laughs> we just took this castle. Um, but yeah, like... Partia's... This is life-changing, right? He's never seen moonwalking guards. Pretty neat. I imagine I'd fallen off that height and died. How, how amazing would that be? Let's actually head to our hall, maybe. Yeah, let's head to our hall. And, and it is quite a nice time of day as well. It's like twilight. Let's go on. Still moonwalking, eh? Working those leg muscles. There we go. There we go. That's why I'm here. To help our people succeed, move up the uh, ramps of life, or perhaps the ladders. 
So how do we get to our Lord's Hall? Up over there. Cool. And of course we have a dungeon as well. Oh man. Two castles. Two castles. And hopefully running around like this actually will also help our athleticism. <laughs> it just occurred to me that it might. It should do, but I don't know how much running around you need to do to actually reap that benefit. Sorry, back this way. This is wild. Now I'm trying to figure out what the next steps are for Partia. Two castles, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six thieves. Again, there's still that uh, proposal that I'd like to push. That policy that I'd like to propose, rather. Um, I need to get 50 influence for that. We could disband our army and um, and then go around picking up, picking out at looters. We could disband our army and uh, go and join up with Adram or, or someone else who's out there with an army. Feed their men, uh, gain some influence that way, something like that. That's an option as well. Not a bad idea. Arwen and are up there. Wow. This is... It's going to take some time for me to get over this, but I think we're uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think I'm good. Let's go ahead and leave, actually. Let's go ahead and leave. I want to take one last look at uh, what's going on over here with our garrison, because I might want to upgrade this a little bit. Some tribesmen that really we should uh, train. 58 out of 408. I've got some Mamluk soldiers and some Asrai recruit. I really ought to... Go recruiting. Wow. This is huge. Folks, this is huge. But, as big as it might be, and as much momentum as we might have, this is also where I'm going to call it a session. I think we're roughly at that hour mark. I uh, hope you all don't mind if it's a little short, but I feel like this is a nice close to a chapter. Uh, Thraktory Castle is ours. Again, the money's going to start looking real sweet as soon as all the taxes start flowing through. And that's going to be great for us. That'll allow us to buy more equipment, buy more troops, increase the quality of the garrisons. Uh, hopefully we can invest more in some of these construction projects that we're doing as well. I thought we were doing something over here. The gardens. Oh, the gardens are done. Food is still a problem. But again, that's because of the, uh, the fact that our, our cities are raided. I believe there's nothing we can do this time. Uh, I'll, I'll investigate that next time. If you enjoyed this session, y'all know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, I bid you farewell.